Good morning, this is the EcoWorthy 100 watt solar kit. Got it for a bargain on Amazon the other day. So, let's get it unboxed, have a look at the stuff and try it out. First thing is I've already cut these to save a bit of time, cut the top uh, tape away. So, inside, quite a big bag. Apparently, these leads are 16 feet long. There's the solar power controller. Have a look what else is in the bag. Right, this is the manual, how to set up. Coming comprehensive with lots of pictures and uh, showing the things like the brackets, which are in this yellow bag. These are all the mounting hardware. So that's just sticking on a wall, well, an RV, low roof, whichever. Here is the controller, and I've already got one of these. Um, it's just a general 30 amp type. There's the lugs that you're connected wires with. To get the controller out itself. Connect up the battery first, then the solar panel, and then you load. And I generally run the load from the battery. Apparently that's the better way of doing it. We've also got a pair of USB ports on. So, a very useful little gadget in its own self. A couple of specs on the back, 12 volt or 24 volt auto it says. And the current is 30 amps. This one was built in January of this year. Moving on to the panel itself. Here's the specs on the back, hopefully you can read that. Drag it out. There's some info on the panel itself. Dimensions, ratings. Short circuit current of 6.11, maximum current 5.55 amps. Weight of 11.5 pounds. Rated power 100 watts. Have a look at the front of it. First of all, the packaging. We've got corner pieces and this big piece here to protect it and there we are there's the panel itself so i'll hook it all up next a good thing about these leads and about this standard is you can't plug into the wrong connector so as you can see with this one the red it won't plug into that one which is the black it'll only plug into this one which is the red one thing to note is that the ends are not pre-cut but they will need to be with a knife or what have you to connect onto these lugs which will go onto the charge controller into those sockets at the front. That's the solar panel wires done and just a little tip on those connectors uh, when you come to get some of the wire on the ends of these and you've uh, stripped it back just scruff up those wires a little bit, then twist on the connector and it makes a good secure fit. This wire here is for your battery. These have already been cut, but they've not got the connector things on the end yet. Now, in the manual, it does show that these kind of leads can either go to the load, I guess an inverter as well, or a battery. As you can see, this 12.8 volt, 6 ampere hour uh, hasn't got the correct terminals on it. So, what I'm going to end up doing, I think, just, just for testing purposes, and I won't do this at home as they say, I'll secure them with these clip leads, just so we get a decent connection onto the battery, and we're using this end, this type of end. So here we are, connected up, You've got the panel going on the left, the battery coming out in the middle, and then a load, a 12 volt load, can be connected to the right hand side, or you can connect up an inverter. It does already have the USB ports on it, as I say. So 13.6 volts. It's showing this on the battery. So that's pretty much fully charged. Let's have a look what's coming in on solar. 2.6 amps at the moment. Uh, the, uh, the sun's not out fully. It's not quite the best of days. 2.8, 2.9, 3 amps, 3.1. Yeah, as the sun's coming out more. So I've got this power bank here to try. On the USBs, connect it third time around. There we are. 
it says incoming on 78% and I'll let this charge that power bank up. Okay one thing we've got to do is to set the kind of battery so keep that button pressed it says there U12V keep it pressed again and now I can press quickly I think there's 24 volts that's 12 volts to make sure that's set to the 12 volts long press BO1 is a regular type of lead acid so I need to change that to lithium which I believe is BO2 give me a second yes BO1 is a gel type of lead acid BO2 is LIFEPO4 LFPs uh, lithiums and BO3 is for an SLA sealed lead acid so it needs to be on BO2 for this but everything works that's great the only extra is some form of storage in this case I've got that 12 volt battery but any old 12 volt battery will work and this is running fine Thirty-nine degrees. So as a summary, it's very easy to set up. Just a couple of connectors, plug things together, make sure you've got a battery of some type of 12 volts, and you're up and running. Certainly for the USB side, just plug stuff in. It's already 82%. It's only been plugged in for about five minutes. Quite a simple um, but very effective charge controller. The power controller there is 30 amps, so you can put more panels to it. And uh, yes, I'm just delighted with this. Um, I would say an inverter is probably a good idea and you can run your main stuff. But it is a very nice little system for the money. Okay, thanks for watching.